Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland, Core Rules. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this science fantasy post-apocalypse role-playing game, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the Neon Lords section, that is the referees section or game masters section. Let's get started with the reaction tables. These are tables to see how the non-player characters will react to something that the player characters say or do, depending on the player character's attitude or sleaze score. For example, maybe a player character asked a question and you roll on the attitude reaction table obtaining the result of Nah, I'm good. Sometimes a no is just a no. Or maybe you obtain the result of Yeah, sure, which is a simple yes or maybe you obtain the result of you got it dude whatever you said it worked you gain a plus two to your attitude maybe you roll on this list reaction table and you obtain you out of your skull take that as a no maybe you obtain was in it for me that's a yes with a price or maybe you obtain whose throat you want slit you got a friend for life will fight and adventure with you until the bitter end. Next we have the game modes. Here you have ways of tweaking or modifying the game to suit your needs. For example, there is Saturday morning mode. This is really over the top. It turns the game into quite a deep pulpy experience. You have a lot of hit points. You attack twice per turn. You add your choice of an exotic weapon to your starting equipment and so forth, and all damage dice explode. You also have Nightmare Mode, which makes things a bit more difficult, giving you less hit points, while in Darkness the player characters suffer a minus 2 penalty to all rolls, even things that are not related to perception. And then you have Ultra Nightmare Mode. Wandering monster encounter rates go up significantly, injuries have lasting permanent effects, and the penalties while in darkness are much more significant. Luckily enough, if a player character dies in Ultra Nightmare mode, you have a bonus when creating your next character. Next we have the Balls to the Wall section. These are basically tips and advice on how to reward the player characters with extra class ability points. For example, if someone says a cheesy one-liner, and if it's extra cheesy, you obtain a few ability points. And if you do something really cool, or if you make a sacrifice to one of your deities, then you also obtain class ability points. Next, we have information on how to create adventures for your player characters. You have all sorts of suggestions, ideas, potential adventure seeds such as a hostage situation, pizza delivery to hostile places, stealing fantastical items, an escort mission perhaps, or maybe you just go exploring ruins. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about conditions that is poisoning, mutations, but also how to build post-apocalyptic adventure sites. The Neon Lord or Referee section in this rulebook is perfect to fine-tune your game, modify it however you like, and get things up and running right away. Thank you for watching this part of the review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that have been supporting the channel by sending drive through RPG gift certificates. If anyone else wants to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you, and see you later.